Hi everyone. Today I am with you a problem based on guesstimations. First we will see what is guesstimate and after that we will try to solve a problem based on guesstimates. First what is guesstimate? Guesstimate is an approximation based on available information. Most of the time only limited information is available. It has more to do with understanding the approach towards the problem. For it, we need to see the approach of our problem. How we can solve it? What are the feasible parameters for that problem? These type of things, we need to think about it. Let's see our problem. Our problem is cost of paint of all pillars of Delhi Metro. For this problem, what we require? First, we require uh, number of pillars in Delhi Metro. If we have number of pillars in Delhi Metro, then we can easily solve it. And uh, for it, we need to visualize how many metro lines and uh, we need to visualize how a metro line looks like. A, a line starts from a station and at another. Along with the, there are many turns and splits also. Some lines are underground, some are on ground and some are above the ground. For this problem, we are focusing on uh, the number of pillars in Delhi Metro. For this, we will assume number of pillars for underground 0 and uh, for on ground uh, metro line also 0. We will count only above ground metro line or uh, we will assume number of pillars required for a station to balance a station. For this, we will assume some number of pillars for every station. Then we will solve a problem on the basis of that. First, try to solve it total number of metro lines. Let's visualize total number of total number of uh, metro lines. Or how we can we assume it? First, we will see area of Delhi. First, we will see area of Delhi. Area of Delhi is about uh, we will assume length is about 50 km. First, we will see area of Delhi. On the basis of it, we will See on the basis of length, let's assume length is uh, in length about 50 kilometer and uh, width is about 30 kilometer. On the basis of that, we will assume our length of a metro line.
लेट्स अज्यूम टोटल नंबर ऑफ मेट्रो लाइन्स आर फाइव मेट्रो लाइन्स फर्स्ट फर्स्ट मेट्रो लाइन सेकेंड द लेंथ ऑफ एवरी मेट्रो लाइन लेट्स अज्यूम फर्स्ट विल बी ऑन फिफ्टी किलोमीटर सेकेंड इज अबाउट विथ फर्स्ट इज अबाउट वन एंड ऑफ डेली टू अनदर एंड दैट इज अबाउट फिफ्टी किलोमीटर द सेकेंड इज अबाउट फोर्टी किलोमीटर थर्ड इज अबाउट ऑन विथ थर्टी किलोमीटर एंड सम मेट्रो लाइन्स बेस्ड ऑन वन पॉइंट टू अनदर पॉइंट लाइक वन इज फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट टू सम होली प्लेसेस और एयरपोर्ट लाइन देन लेट्स अज्यूम अबाउट अनदर इज ऑफ ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर लाइन This is length of our metro line. Length of metro line. The second column is number of stations. Number of number of stations based on uh, between the distance between two stations. Let's assume the distance between two station is uh, average is about one point five kilometer. Average distance between two stations is about one point five kilometer. Then let's assume it. Let's assume thirty stations for that, and for forty kilometer, about twenty-five stations. We will take number of stations on the basis of approximations, and twenty stations based on thirty kilometer line, and about twelve stations. and is if this line is in a rest area then is about 40 stations the next column we will assume number of stations and number of ground stations number of ground stations ground stations let's assume 
for first 10 ground stations or uh, eight let's take eight ground station the another line for another line is about uh, five ground stations and uh, sometime there is no ground station then we can took three or four ground stations for one we took zero ground stations and for uh, another we took uh, three ground stations now above ground stations above ground stations are now 22 20 16 12 and 11 now We assume the distance between two stations is about uh, 1.5 kilometer distance between two stations. Approx 1.5 kilometer. Sometimes it is about one kilometer also. 1.5 kilometer. We took an average. Now number of pillars for above stations. Number of pillars. For above station, how we can calculate number of pillars above station? Now let's see for every station we took a Let's assume uh, eight pillars are required for every station. Okay, let's assume eight pillars are required for every station. And we have number of above ground station is a here 22, then 22 into eight is 176. Then total number of pillars required here are 126. And here are 160. And for 16 stations, we need to require 128 pillars. And here we have 12 above ground station. For this, we need uh, to 96 and for 11 stations we need to 88 above ground pillars now 
find the number of pillars between two stations number of pillars between two stations number of pillars between two stations how we can we let's assume every 10 meter have one pillar for every 10 meter we have one pillar then the total distance is about the total distance is about 50 km and we have 30 stations which are one station length is about 300 meter then one station is about 300 meter and total number of stations is are 30 then the total distance is about 9 km and the distance travel left distance is about 40 km and for 40 km the distance uh, between mm -hmm. let's see number of pillars between two stations the total distance covered by a metro is about uh, 50 km and the length of metro stations is about uh, 3 300 meter for about uh, 3 30 stations total distance is about uh, 9 km then approx we have 40 km and for 40 km every 100 meter uh, one pillar then uh, the total number of pillar is about 400 and here we have 40 km distance and 25 stations then about 7 km stations length then 30 we have 33 km and for 33 km we have about 330 metro pillars and about uh, we have 20 stations then about 6 km distance covered by stations and uh, 24 km total distance ya yeah, total length of line and uh, about 24 km we have 240 number of pillars for fourth line uh, length of metro line is about 20 km and number of stations are 12 distance covered by about 3 km then uh, 9 km we have 
नाइंटी अबाउट सेवनटीन किलोमीटर सॉरी फॉर सेवनटीन किलोमीटर वी हैव नंबर ऑफ पिलर वन सेवनटी एंड अप्रोक्स वन सेवनटी वन हेयर नंबर ऑफ मेट्रो स्टेशन आर फोर्टी देन अबाउट वन सिक्सटी नंबर ऑफ पिलर्स फॉर दैट लाइन एंड नाउ देर आर सम स्प्लिट ऑल्सो for uh, here we need to add some pillars for splits let's assume for 1 km or for 2 km distance we have one split then total 50 km length then uh, total number of splits 25 then add uh, 25 metro pillars just uh, divided by 2 total number of distance 20 15 in rush area we can say the more number of splits then here we will assume 20 or some metro lines are straight forward then we will assume about only 10 here now find total number of pillars so we can use some or uh, just total of it for this we will use it is on to sum we have around 2000 we took around 2000 metro pillars we have Around two thousand metro pillars, and uh, let's assume cost of paint of one pillar. Cost of paint of one pillar is fifteen hundred rupees. Then total cost. Two thousand into fifteen hundred about. Thirty lakh, approx. Thirty lakh total cost. Our answer is approx thirty lakh. The total cost of paint of all metro pillars are is of approx thirty lakh. To solve these type of problems, uh, here we approached structural approach first. we need to find we need to know area of delhi and let's structure the problem the total number of metro lines number of uh, length of metro line number of stations and number of ground station number of uh, Above ground stations, distance between two stations, 
like this we can solve our whole problems and guesstimates are uh, important for management point of view thank you